So this book is about wagons and traveling and the olden days, I guess, when the pilgrims, they used to travel on the fields in big wagons. Their whole, like, family and group used to sit and travel. They would, their makeshift carritos, <laughs> cars. And horses, they used horses to pull the wagon. Huh? And they put all their items Hi, inside. I'm eating. <laughs> they put all their stuff inside <laughs> and traveled. <laughs> it says 150 years ago, there was no railroads. <laughs> That that she didn't um, see you. We see you on the. Uh, I know. Uh, it, <laughs> it's because the angle. I have the phone on a certain angle. The phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm right here. Can you see my hand? I saw your hand. <laughs> hey, Mom, I didn't see you. Where is it? Oh my. <laughs> you see me? <laughs> So, let me see. The only way to travel back then was on horses. You see me now? Daddy, walk a daddy at home? No, I'm just here by myself. Huh? I'm just here. Ruben at home and Ruben walking? I'm, I'm alone, alone today. By ah, myself. Ah, Ruben walking, huh? Hmm. So, so back then, there were no cars or buses or airplanes um, or railroads, nothing. So the only way was to use horses to travel and wagons and stuff. So <laughs> that's back in the 1800s, yes? Hi. Have a mush. Do you remember? It's a long time ago. <laughs> so, let me see. Hey! Thank you! I saw Good that. Job. Good job. Hey! <laughs> Oops. So everything's falling now. Okay. Uh -oh. Hi, Hi, Let me see. Hi, <coughs> Hi, There we go. Okay. So, let's see. So it says the Oregon Territory is made up of the land of Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. Huh? This is history. There's a lot of states. Look so cute. Back then, it says nobody knew of the Oregon Territory. That it was going to be part of America or if it was going to be part of England, which is definitely far away, across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> Both countries had built uh, forts. Hi? No, don't move the phone. You look fine. Hi, Moina. That's a perfect angle. Hey! Ah. Are you? I got you. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi! Your body close? You play? Nah. Why? That's you? Hi!
Joe, what else here? There were Indians. They sold um, different kinds of supplies, things like that. Hmm. So this is about talking about history, right? Me, what else? Hey. Ah. Hi. Ah, hello. Hello. Ah. Ah. Yummy. Hooray. So it says a lot of people went to America to live there. Since, you know, it's a big continent. Obviously. <laughs> it says Oregon became a state in 1859. Are those pancakes or waffles? about that so so some uh, the west coast huh? states huh? Washington Oregon California Montana So the other states, Nevada, uh, Idaho, Utah, Montana, Wyoming, Colorado, North Dakota, South Dakota, ne <coughs> what? Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri. Okay, so this is all considered the area of I guess Oregon, so the west, northwest. Well, it's not just north; it's just the whole west. I mean, of the United States. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen states in the west. Huh. Let's see. Did I miss anything? Oh. Well, Texas is right here, too. Wait. Yeah. Okay, I don't know. Oh, what happened? Well, I kind of combined North and South Dakota together. So, in the California, Nevada, Utah, what is it? Save food, huh? How do you save food? Keep eating, mamas. What happened? Baby, what happened? Baby, what's wrong? You want to go on the next page now? So all those states are in this whole area, okay? Uh huh. It's a pretty big area, no? And Great Salt Lake, Salt Lake is in Utah. So in the middle section, we have California, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Kansas, and Missouri. 
in the northern section, oh, in Texas. I said Nebraska, right? And then in the north, we have Oregon, Washington, Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, and Dakotas. North and south. Those are the different states. Okay. And then we have Rocky Mountains, kind of in the north. The mountains. Yes? This stuff is interesting, huh? So. <laughs> Why? Okay, so this is this whole thing section is called the Oregon Trail. That whole area has to talk about. Okay. It says, Why did people want to travel all the way to Oregon? Back in the 1840s, faraway places were read about in newspapers, things like that, and stories were told from visitors from distant places. This is how people learned about the land on the west side of the Rocky Mountains, which was the Oregon area. They, there were stories about this magical place that flowers bloomed all year, that the land was good for farming. There was plenty of land that was free. There were tall trees, big forests, rivers, streams filled with fish. The name Oregon made people think of starting new adventures. <laughs> 